today we are going to make a bug in a jar. So we are going to use lines and shapes to make our jar first. So to make the jar, we're going to start at the top of our paper. So our, our paper is horizontal right now, up and down. It's portrait style. And I'm going to start at the top of the paper. Oops, hit the camera. <laughs> start at the top of the paper and I'm going to draw an oval. It's not going to touch the top and it's not quite going to touch the sides. It's going to be right in this middle area right here. So it's going to be a sideways oval just like that. Sideways oval. And that's the very top of our jar. That's going to be the top of the lid. And then I'm going to draw a line down one side and a line down other, uh, the other side. And they're just two short little lines that go down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curved line that goes just like that one curves. See how that bottom line curves down a little? We're going to do that same thing. So it's not going to go down a lot. It's just going to go just a teeny tiny bit. It almost looks straight. It's just a little, little tiny curve like that. So we have the lid of our jar and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the, the glass part of the jar. So next we're going to start down in this corner where these two lines meet and we're going to draw a line that angles out just a little bit. It almost goes to the side of our paper but doesn't quite touch the side. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going to go almost to the, to the side of the paper but not quite. Notice how they both point out towards the sides. Then we're going to make a line that goes down like it follows the side of the paper almost to the bottom but it's going to stop before the bottom. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's going to be the same length. It's going to go down almost to the bottom of the paper but it's going to stop before it gets to the bottom. And then this bottom line is going to curve a little bit to show that the, the bottom isn't square. It's a, it's a cylinder. It's a curve. So we're going to curve it around until it touches that other side. And then we have our jar. Nice job. Next we get to make some bugs in our jar and make their habitat. 